hello boys and girls, here we are today once again at the, the Bangkok Motor Show uh, for our uh, yearly or half yearly dose of uh, eye candy and lovely cars and motorcycles. Anyway, so stick around. I'm actually waiting to see if I can say, uh, Goy said she was going to be in the area. She sent me a location, she's actually across the road uh, at the, um, what they call motorcycle test track. This uh, like a, uh, a test track thing that they can ride motorcycles at. Um, I could have ridden in to do that, but because, I, but because I've got a big day ahead of me today, it's Jerry's birthday and everything else, um, I've decided to catch public transport in. So I've landed here. Now, I've given her my location to get here, but uh, whether she comes here or not to meet up, I don't know. If she does, it's all well and good. Anyway, so we're going to make our way inside uh, the, 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 the hall and start having a look around. So stay tuned. So I wonder what sort of show we're going to have here today. And how much trouble I'm going to have with my Bluetooth device because there's so many Bluetooth uh, speakers around the place. It always presents a problem. Uh, we've got the cars all down this end, so let's head up this way and see if we can find the motorcycles. You might be wondering why I don't pay much attention to the cars. Well, they're cars. They've got four wheels. Uh, seen one car, seen them all, but motorcycles, uh, the steel horses. Uh, I think it's a boys thing, you know, the boys have got to have their toys and motorcycles sure fit into that sort of type of, um, what do you call it, uh, paradigm. So there's been a lot of gossip lately around the news circuit that uh, Thailand is now pushing for an EV um, priority by 2035. Okay, so that's in a, what's that, 33 years away, no, no, 15, no 13 years away. Um, I wonder how that's going to happen, but uh, there's a few EV things floating around the place. You know, there's a nice little EV stand over here. I'm not quite sure what that brand is. Uh, scooters. Uh, when I was a kid, you know, push bikes, and scooters. I don't think anybody in, in their right mind would have a scooter. But uh, you never know. There are ones, one of their ways of getting around the, um, uh, the scene. Especially when you've only got some short distances around soys, I suppose. But uh, yeah, EV is uh, there. There's, I think there was something I saw on the Motor Show a brochure or you know, a website. There's also a big push there here to get the EVs in to have a look at EVs. Uh, if you don't know what EV is, well, <laughs> electronic vehicles, electric vehicles. I don't know. What's it really stand for? Uh, sucker. But uh, anyway, we've got the Yamaha stand, so we've got some motorcycles here. MT15, pretty bike, pretty girls. And I guess if you haven't seen all our videos, there's been some discussions, I've been, or mentions the fact that we are looking at uh, changing her uh, CB654, that's a CB650F. Um, any buyers, just give us a call. Um, looking for about two hundred thousand baht for that one, but uh, she wants to she wants to buy the X Max. Well, we both want the X Max. It's like a it's a step up from the you know the the run around scooter. Um, I wonder if they've got an X Max here or no? They have. What have we got? Let's see. Where are we? Spin it around. Tech Max. Is this the latest version of the? That's T-Max, okay. Oh, that's a 560cc, okay. That's a bit big. Now, we're looking for the X-Max. This, oh, there we go, there's the X-Max. I don't know if you're familiar with it. It's again, it's a, it's a scooter, a two-seater, um, but, you know, like 300cc's. Uh, I know Tim's just bought the, um, the Proposa, which is the uh, Honda equivalent. Uh, but we're looking at getting one of these. Okay, so what we've got on the on the X Max, we've got uh, it's got the two helmets of sides. It's got uh, retractable. Um, I believe this thing here can be adjusted up and down. Uh, ABS brakes, uh, single cylinder, 300 cc. You can get two full face helmets underneath the deck, um, but it only comes in three colours now. You've got the, the lovely girl over here with the looks like the grey, and of course they've got the well, steel. Um, I don't know what color, color you still call it grey there, is a greeny grey or whatever, uh, and of course the black. 
uh, I'm really quite set on the red one, and the red one is uh, a couple of years old, so that's going to present a bit of a problem. Um, they don't make that colour anymore, but uh, still, 172,000 uh, or 173,000 uh, is the on-road cost, uh, which is not too bad. Um, you can do deals a little bit, but uh, the deals really sort of revolve around extras rather than actually price cutting. Anyway, let's have a look around a bit more. I'm going to see, see where koi has got to, see if she's got here yet. I have a feeling we're going to get a little bit more of this sort of type of motorcycle promotion. This is a, I don't know, Tom, Tomino or is it a, I don't know how you would say that, uh, that looks like a T. <laughs> it's hard to tell. But uh, we've got a new license class which is under 400cc which is uh, the original licensing and uh, an over 400cc class um, you know, which is a big bike class license. Um, so uh, they're going to be a little bit of you know, play around with these sort of things here. 400cc, um, where's it? 115,000 baht. Um, that's actually not a bad price considering I remember sort of when I bought the 125, uh, the, the 150 um, X Max um, when we first got here you know, four and a half years ago. Uh, we bought the X Max Yamaha. And that was 90, 94,000. So not a, not a bad uh, upgrade uh, for a. You know, was it, it looks like a single C, single single cylinder 400 cc. Actually, looking at that exhaust, it might even be a twin cylinder. Let's see if we can have a look at the front of it. Ah, definitely only a single cylinder. Um, I think the exhaust is made to look it would make it look bigger. <laughs> but uh, not a bad looking style. But it does like the Pulsar, Pulsar artist. Oh, I see. This one's the Pulsar for the 200 cc. The 400 cc is yes, the right. Domina. Yes. She tells me it's Domina, not Tomina. Like the, the letter is, could be could be J, could be T. Yes. <laughs> not quite a D, but yeah, yes, Domina. But, but, but actually, that one is the D. Oh, that one's a D. What about this one here? 400 is still D, Domina? Yes, that one is, is 400 too. That's why it took 400. Okay, so it's a 250 cc and a 400 cc. How about this one? Hmm? This one is 250. This one is the Domino is... 250, but how much? Tara, Araka, Tara. We not launch. We not launch. We not launch yet. yet. Yes. What do you think? What? Uh, how much do you think? How about they say 115 for the 400? I'm not sure. Um, maybe just uh, this one is... 60, like 70, 80? 80. 80, 80? 80, 80? 80 yes. to 90, okay, not too bad, yeah, okay. But it's an Indian brand, so the brand there is uh, Bajai, so keep an eye out for that one, so it's, it's new for Thailand. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, couple marker. I don't know what Suzuki are doing in the sub 400cc class. Um, I'm pretty sure they've got something in that range there. There's the traditional 250. Uh, but again, so these incumbents, uh, they're very slow to move off these these incumbent numbers. Uh, actually, it looks like they got a Suzuki um, 300cc. What do they call this one here? Bergerman. Okay, the Bergam. <laughs> Bergman. Bergman. It's a 400cc. Um, it's a bit too big. But again, it's a 400cc class, getting in that, that um, low class cc to get them that license class. So I just found the price list there for the Bergman there. Um, that's uh, 214, so it's a little bit more expensive than the, the Yamaha. Um, so, you know, we want to try to keep the pricing down, you know. <laughs> Always want to sort of budget. <laughs> if we don't really need the extra CCs, 300 CCs is, in my opinion, quite enough for that street bike, you know, street around the town, sort of, you know, two up. That's what we're looking for anyway. That's why the X-Max seems to come in all right. Uh, we did consider the Feroza. Um, but I think the, the style of the Yamaha just looks a bit better. It's sort of a bit interesting, like a few years ago, uh, looking for like motocross bikes, they seem to be very, very few and far between, but looks like some of the bigger brands now are starting to cater more for it, which is interesting. Uh, the XADV, but again, these are only 150cc, uh, not uh, a bit too small on the CC side. Okay, so I was a bit mistaken, that's actually a a 750cc twin cylinder. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's the ADV 150. 
So 750 is too big and 150 is a bit too small. So any carp? Wait, I'll walk around the guy trying to film something, but uh, okay. So here's the Feroza six, the Feroza 350. And then when you look at them, they're not much different from the X Max. Um, it's just a personal preference, I guess. There's just some little features of the X Max that just seems to, um, you know, float our boat. Well, more to the point, I think it's more that uh, Shanya also likes the X Max. So um, why she hasn't chosen for the Feroz, I don't know. The pricing works out roughly about the same. Yeah, there it is there so 173 500 so it's a fraction more expensive for you know 50 cc's more so yeah um there's an option but uh i think we're going to be going for the um the the x max you know it's good to see we got harley davidson back here at the show i know last year this time they they didn't bother to show up uh mind you, it was a beginning of COVID, so maybe they had their reasons uh, I notice I've been seeing on my Facebook groups uh, that a few of my friends are entertaining Harley Davidson's again. Uh, some of the newer models, Pan America. So they're very much more of a modern style motor looking thing. 1250cc. Yep. Always looking good if you like that style of thing. And of course, I do like the, the cruisers, but I just never like their pricing. They are just way, way overpriced, uh, in my book anyway. Lots of chrome on them. Gotta love chrome. So just doing a quick look around, and I can't see Kawasaki anywhere. Looks like they've decided to bail out for this one. Uh, anyway, we'll keep looking. So there's a sign on the sidewall there, it says EV Tech Zone, and we've got this brand one. Or a good cat. I'm guessing that it's an EV. Uh, looks like we're gonna go in over here somewhere. So the young girl's telling me that it's a, it's a Chinese brand. Uh, I've never heard of it before, but again, <laughs> I don't know much about China, so there you go. I do think we're gonna sort of see a lot of EVs coming out in the next couple of years. Uh, so Tesla has obviously uh, got the US um, you know, people involved and, you know, uh, looking at it as a different option, but, uh, you know, the, the globe is global. Uh, there's going to be a lot of other manufacturers coming out with similar sort of types of, of vehicles, uh, exactly how well they'll compete. Um, it's going to be tend to depend on price. Not sure what we're looking at here. That's, that doesn't look like, that's a conventional motor I would expect versus an EV motor and that's just sort of battery banks the style of thing that uh, the s volt and uh, i believe that these vehicles are interchangeable uh it's a drop out unit so that you can replace it looks like your transmission there okay so i'm guessing gwm which is the brand is <laughs> great wall motor okay fair enough uh, these are their giga factories i would think you would call it their giga factories the types of setups Big scale. Any carp? Hmm, so conventional sort of utility, flatbed. And it is an EV as well. Damn, looks a darn sight better than bloody Tesla's freaking truck. God, that thing that uh, Tesla came out with, oh, I really. Yeah, it's got no style whatsoever. At least that's a stylish looking truck. I do think that they've got a nice lot of styles. Definitely sort of, uh, could capture the imagination of a lot of people here in Asia. It's really going to come down to the pricing though, isn't it? After quarter two. After quarter two what? Quarter to three? Yes. Okay. No, four. <laughs> oh, okay, so, so we're still looking for promotional stuff here. We haven't got any pricing yet, which is interesting. Uh, we're going to have to keep an eye on that. 
So I just got word from Guy there, she's up at the Yamaha stand now, says so you finally got here. We so say, let's just race back and say, say hello. So here we are at the Yamaha stand again. And here's my good friend, Koi. And she has five bikes and zero boyfriends. <laughs> How are you, darling? New MP9. <laughs> and this is my good friend, Ludwig, again. Hey, Ludwig. Ludwig. What a cab. What's up, Brian? Good, good to see again? you again. Good to see you too, yeah? Yeah. It's been a while. Hi, Moro, yeah. yep. So I'm at Mark. Check, check, check. That guy is sort of saying that Ludwig wants to buy the XX, XS, X, 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 S, R. I think he said XSR. <laughs> XSR, yeah, 700. I believe there's an XSR 700 around the place. Is this one here, is it? This one? Yeah. yeah it looks all right. As looking here at KTM, I've got the KTM 390 Adventure. Looks like it's a, a total of 19,000. Um, one of these adventure bikes. They're also a bit of a craze at the moment as well. I think it all comes from the people looking for individuality rather than anything else. Looks like they're giving away a 10,000 baht gift voucher to buy. There you go. There you go. So here, this did catch my eye. Right now. This, uh, I have to say, only Thailand. Who the hell would buy a Porsche and then go camping like that? Really? No, nah, seriously, you have got to be joking. Only Thailand. Look at another one over there as well. Oh my God. No, I don't mind camping. <laughs> seriously. Uh, something I haven't seen here before is a camper vans. Um, I believe they're starting to take off here as well. I haven't heard much about them before, but it's like one of those sort of things that uh, you know you start to think about when it comes to motoring. Um, in Australia, probably every second or third car has a tow bar and they'll tow a trailer or a caravan. It's almost like an unheard of thing over here in Thailand. So they got no Kawasaki, no Kawasaki, no um, uh, KTM. not not KTM here. But, oh, you mean you didn't try the Kawasaki? Yes, yeah. yeah, so there's no Kawasaki. Um, there's a few manufacturers not here today. Uh, like last year, this time we didn't have Harley Davidson, but this year we've got uh, we've got quite a few brands missing, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, we've got Porsches with tents. See so what you're doing now? You cannot have this one. You have too many bikes. Never enough. Ah, that's better. Never enough. Oh, I don't know. See, we have two two girls here. Oh my God. The Africa twin. So I. <laughs> and of course, I meant so I as in beautiful bike. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're not believe <laughs> they're not believe me. <laughs> there are definitely some pretty looking Honda girls this time around. <laughs> I do know that uh, paw has been sort of uh, pouring over this particular bike. This the uh, the Honda uh, was it the Rebel 1100. A nice like the, the paint job's nice. This metallic metallic girl, what do you call it? Dark grey CB 1300 four cylinder. Mm. I don't like the paint job. No. I'm not super fan of the paint job either, but the whole thing, the whole reissue spirit is great, I think. Mm. So it's good when we bring our own model with us. What do you reckon? Bring our own model to, oh, yeah. to, to try the bike. Okay, take the mask off for, for one minute. Mask off. Mask. <laughs> Got to see your pretty face. Yes, that's what we want. Yeah. Paul wants me to have a look at. He wants me to sit on the rebel. He not, does. not, not, uh, Daddy, not, not that you. That was my bad. That was my bad. <laughs> it's okay. All right, this is Warren. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's okay. Anyway, it's been a fun little show. Um, plenty more to see, but I'm going to go and uh, grab a taxi, then get on the BTS and go and see my. See my other friends <laughs> and Jerry's birthday party. So 
Anyway. When are we going to ride again? On the weekday. On the weekday. On the weekday. On the weekday. We've got to find a weekday when we're going to all ride together. I'm always too busy on the weekend. Anyway. Look big. Peace out, guys. We'll catch up with you next video. Bye for now.